What's up guys, Jason Ma the Magician and welcome back to the 365 Days of Magic Challenge. Day number 50 and today, today we're performing another trick by the man himself, Paul Cummins. So it wasn't even two days ago that I performed a trick by Paul Cummins called The Trick That Never Happened. It was published in his book, Fast Do You, Fast Do You. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, Fast Do You. Fast Do You, Volume 1. It was published in that, The Trick That Never Happened. So if you want to learn it, you can go there and you can check that out. Now for those of you that don't know, Paul Cummins has more than 50 years experience as a magician, which means that there is so much knowledge that he can impart onto us, the younger generation, about how to perform. He's brilliant. He's performed in trade shows, close-up gigs, bars, really everything that you want to do as a magician, he's already done it. And you're also lucky too because he's imparted his knowledge through lectures across the globe and you're able to get access to some of these lectures through Penguin Magic and I advise that you do so. But anyway, with that, I don't think there's any better trick that I can do today than Paul Cummins' True Triumph. And so, let's roll the stinger and let's do a magic trick. Here we are back with the trick and I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. Before I could do fancy springs or have cards interlaced perfectly one by one so that I could do this lovely double ribbon spread or you could even do the surf trick, you know, where the, the cards flip over. I always loved that. But before I could do any of this, I had to get creative because I couldn't shuffle cards very well. And so I used to do this whole thing where I would just like mix them and push them together and I would take portions of cards and just throw them all around and it would be absolute chaos and we could take these piles and we would just throw them together and we would do a wash. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the whole wash thing, but it's actually a fairly legitimate way to shuffle cards. Casinos actually do it all the time and it makes me feel a little bit better about myself that as a young fella I was shuffling like this. And it does do a fairly good job of mixing up the pack. You end up with cards face up, cards face down, front to face, back to face. It ends up being this total mess of cards, but I have learned over the years that with a bit of magic and a lot of luck, we can actually have all the cards straighten out. And that right there is Paul Cummins' True Triumph. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that trick. And although my performance is not as good as Paul's, I really hope you still enjoy it for what it is. And if you want to learn the routine, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. It'll take you straight to a site where you can pay to download the tutorial. And it's totally worth it because Paul is an excellent teacher. And this effect, this opening is great, especially if you're a tabletop performer. And also in his words, it's one of his favorite effects. So it's definitely worth taking a look. True Triumph is one of my favorite effects and I often use it to open a set of card tricks. I was, I was lucky though, to be honest, like, I, and I have a lot of uh, experience from magicians who have already done the work, if that makes sense. What card were you thinking of that I could not possibly have known? I mean, realistically, right, all of the, all of the magic that we do today is off the back of giants. Do you know sure. what I mean? We as magicians today are the byproduct of every magician who performed before us. Because if they hadn't paved the way, then guys like me wouldn't exist. So from the bottom of my heart, you will be missed, Paul. Rest in peace. I'll see you guys tomorrow.